Welcome back. Right now, we're going to talk about something that a lot of women struggle with, and that's hair loss. It happens to a lot of people. It really does. 70% of women experience some sort of hair loss, but there is help. And joining us now is Mona Zargar, a.k.a. the Wig Fairy, and her client, Jessica. Hi, ladies. Hi. Thank you for being here. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much. This is incredible. So tell us a little bit about your your you know your story and, the, and why you became the Wig Fairy. So the Wig Fairy started as a hobby about seven years ago. I started dealing with the Orthodox Jews and because they cover their hair once they get married. And then within a year, I had opened the shop before I knew it. And clients with like hair loss started coming in and alopecia and cancer. And I said, oh my God, like this market is crazy. Like there's so many people out there that need your help. So I started focusing on the alopecia and the hair loss and a lot of cancer patients, unfortunately. And now, seven years later, we're launching our own foundation. And we have a beautiful shop in Beverly Hills. And we're helping, I mean, kids from like five years old to like I have older women, you know, like 70s, 80s coming to us. So it's, it's really a passion and it's something that it's just the beginning of it, and I'm very excited about this yeah. whole process. Yeah, and Jessica is one of your clients. Yeah. Jessica, yeah. so can you tell us a little bit about your story and how Mona helped you? Yeah, absolutely. So when I was seven years old, I was diagnosed with alopecia, um, and I have the version of it where you basically lose all of your hair, all of your head hair, eyebrows, eyelashes, everything. Um, it's definitely an interesting experience to get that news as a kid yeah. um, and then you're kind of left with the diagnosis and you don't really like know where to go from there mm -hmm. um, it can kind of be a daunting experience um, so I grew up kind of going between a bunch of wigs between not wearing wigs kind of experimenting a little bit um, and then I moved up to LA for college and I luckily found Mona <laughs> as the first person in my search because it can be really daunting to be able to find that, but um, I walked into her shop and it's just such a welcoming environment and they help you so much. And like that really makes the difference because when you're going through this kind of by yourself, you don't really know the best practices. You don't know like what's gonna look really good. Yeah. And the way that they were just able to like walk you through that and make you feel like, mm. okay, we got you, you're here, like we'll figure it out. That really like makes such a difference. So before yeah. we actually go through the process of how you do it, can we see the difference from this to not having it? Yeah, absolutely. That way we can kind of walk through what would. Take it off. You want to take it off? Yeah, it looks it great. It looks Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, so right now I'm wearing basically two pieces. I have this full piece on. Um, and then on the inside of it is this lace piece that we'll talk about as well and that oh, kind wow. of detaches okay. from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can feel it. It's so soft and nice. Because when you, when you first see it, this is no. incredible. Like yeah. I would have never yeah. even expected right. anything. So mm -hmm. it's all human hair and literally it's ponytails cut off and sewn into wigs. Okay. So And it's comfortable too, so it's got oh, this it's so lining on the inside. Yeah. Okay. And especially when you yeah. don't have hair, that can right. really bother yeah, you. Yeah, exactly. This is, this is, how much does this cost? Um, say, it could maybe. start anywhere from like seven hundred dollars, and it'll go up to like three thousand dollars. Okay. We make custom pieces for people. Where there's nothing extra for that. The great thing about our wigs is it's not the basic that you see, like the synthetics that people are grabbing for a couple hundred bucks. Right. Yeah. These are wigs that you wear anywhere from three to five years. Yeah. So okay. they're like a lifelong, and okay, so they're, an they become investment. a part. It's an investment. It becomes a part of your wardrobe. You right. Know? Like I'll, I wear wigs. I've been wearing wigs for like eight years now, and I have a full set of hair and I choose to wear a wig, mm -hmm. and I have different colors and yeah. different lengths. So the great thing about them is that you could decide that today you want to be a brown, and you could take that same piece and say, you know what, I want some highlights. And you could throw in highlights into it. So just whatever you would do on regular hair, you could do on our wigs, okay. which normally you can't do with the other wigs out there. Yeah. Okay. So that's what makes these more special, you know? It makes they them more can... fun to wear as well. Yeah. If I want to be blonde and tomorrow, I can. Yeah. Well, like, straight or curly. You're really gorgeous. Yeah. 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 What is this? Yeah. What does this do for your confidence? I mean, A, it's fun. Just to be able mm -hmm. to kind of do whatever I yeah. want. I can change pieces whenever I want. But B, kind of, you know, when you're going through this and you grow up without hair, you do kind of run that line of like, Sometimes I just want to have hair yeah. and like, be like everybody yeah. else. 
Um, so it's just nice to be able to do that. And especially, you know, Mona was talking about the quality. Mm -hmm. That is what really makes a difference. Yeah. Like I said, like you really can't tell. Yeah. And when you're wearing a piece that doesn't have that quality, like that really makes a difference about how you feel about wearing it. To look natural. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Well, what you do is, well, is amazing work. Yes. Thank you so much. And gorgeous. <laughs>